Hello and welcome back to episode 2. We're gonna add a achievement today in our well door. Uh, this can be used anywhere. Uh, it doesn't have to be a door but we have a door so why not. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head over into your partner.steamgames.com and, and find the achievement section. In here we're gonna make a new achievement. So when you click new achievement so you want to add a API name progress uh, well, I API, na I API name. So I'm going to make a open door underscore atch, right? So open door achievement. The progress side I'm going to add is none. Under here, you can add stats and stuff. That's going to be tried. We're not going to be doing that here. We're simply just going to be, well, open door achievement. So the name of this is open a door. And the description is going to be you did the impossible. You opened the door. And now we can save that. I do, I'm going to add some icons. I'll be right back. So I've now added the icons. If I now go and publish this, so head over to publish and hit prepare for publishing. And then you can publish to Steam, add Steamworks, and ready to publish. This is going to update your, your game info already. So if I now go into my standalone game here for it to start up and go into the overlay, head over to achievements. Now you can see that we have our achievement here. Now we need to make sure that we can actually unlock this. So the one thing that we're going to do first actually is we're going to head into our content drawer and show an explorer. Head into your config, default engine config and scroll all the way down. Is this the right way? Right? Down here, you can select the end of your Steam app dev ID and uh, just hit enter a couple times. Now we're gonna do achievement underscore zero underscore ID. And then here you wanna add your, well, ID that you made on your Steam works, right? So what was that ID for us? I think it was uh, open door underscore achievement. I can save this. We do need to package our game and stuff and upload it to Steam, but we're going to do that after. But now this is completely ready to 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 work basically. If I now, well, actually, we can probably yeah go into your BP door, and after we open close our door, we want to get our player controller. We want to cache achievements and we do not want this to be in the world context object. We want this to be in the player controller. So on fail, we're just going to do a print and uh, we're just going to say couldn't cache achievements. And on success, well, we're going to get our player controller. We're going to get cached achievement process progress. That was on success. The achievement ID is our open door underscore achievement. So if we do not find this ID, we're just going to say didn't find ID. Or if we did, then we're going to check if the progress is greater than zero. So do we already have it unlocked? If we have it already unlocked, then we're going to print already have it unlocked. And if we don't already have it unlocked, I'm going to get our play controller again. We're going to write achievement progress, not the world context object like so. The achievement name is our open door underscore achievement. And we're going to set progress to be 100. And to be fair, this is... Uh, Honestly, the, the only thing you need to do. When I hit play. And hit create game. You can see that we do not have the achievement. When I go and open the door. We got a ding. And that opened on the other client. But... Uh, this will work just fine on uh, on the internet as well. 
it, it is basically the same client it's just uh, it, it's the same steam account right so that is why that happened but anyway that is how you would uh, well replicate a door and uh, and add an achievement to opening and closing the door. I do realize now that basically this is gonna fire, if this door is already open, it's it's gonna fire and uh, fire the open door achievement even on the close, but uh, yeah. Uh, we are gonna add this to Steam just uh, to make sure that it's actually finished, because right now if you, if you did this and you had your friend log in, it wouldn't show up uh, for, for him, because you haven't added it uh, to your steam right so that is what we're gonna do we're gonna go into our main menu here we're gonna package the content for windows so I'm gonna make a new folder inside of my online tutorial so I'm gonna call it packaged builds and select that and I'll be right back once this is finished so once you have packaged your build then you will find the windows folder for it you go into your Steamworks SDK, and I'm using SDK 155 here, I do think a new version is up, but it doesn't matter for me. Go into your tools, content builder content, this is all on the Steam tutorial, the uh, Unreal 2 Steam tutorial, so I'm not going to go through it too much. I'm just going to move my Windows folder over to that, and then I'm going to open up my Steam Pipe GUI, and I'm just going to, I think I already have the VDFs, I'm just going to click upload. Once that is uploaded, you want to go into your Steam Pipe, over to Builds, and now you can see our final build here that we just uploaded. It says 5.22 a.m. here, it's uh, different from mine. Uh, select the App Branch default, preview the change, and once you have set that build live, everything is good to go. That is all you need to do. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this uh, little video and um, the door and everything, I don't know. If you enjoyed the videos, please leave a like. It does uh, really mean a lot. And if you have any questions, leave a comment or join the Discord. Uh, I will try to help as much as I can. On the Discord, there's a lot of, lot of people that will happily help you. Uh, but uh, So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.